Welcome back everyone to the next installment of Child of Eden. We're now going to go into a level that specifically is called Beauty. With a title like that... Well, we'll see. So far looking pretty good. Looks like we got a flower thing going on here. Our, even our health meter is flower petals. And look at all the particles on the left and right side of the screens. You want to see something really amazing? Look at this. Oh yeah, we can manipulate those too. Can you get over that? This game. I'm going to say beautiful and gorgeous a lot. Forgive me, but give me a break. You gotta admit. This really is the most beautiful freaking game ever. And you like the petals we're putting onto the, uh, the river here? What's really remarkable about those... There we go. Like I was saying. What's really remarkable about them is that they pulse to the beat. See that? You didn't get a chance. There, look. See that? They pulse to the music. It's just like Rez. Everything pulses to the music. Oh, and I love these enemies. Look at that. And butterflies fly out. How, again, I've asked this before. How do you design this? And you see the intricate detail in their wings, too? Oh, but the river's no longer full of flowers. Well, you know what? We'll get on that. Amazing. What's also cool with these particles is that they slowly reform. See that? Oop. I guess you're supposed to let all the enemies come out for maximum points, but... Whatever. I also like the sound that these the purple shots make when you take them out. Love it. Oh, hello. Enemies are getting rough. Perfect. Look at this. Now this is beautiful. Pulse to the beat. Uh oh. Barely got him in time. Oh, oh, it's gonna fly away. Ah, missed the butterfly. Too bad. Ooh, it's a gate, but this time it was purple shots. You can't just hold and release, you gotta target them specifically. And that's a lot of green. And look, a giant segmented enemy. These things are cool. They're yellow segments, but as you shoot them, they turn blue. You can count how many segments are still yellow, and basically determine the remaining HP that way. How far am I in destroying this thing? Only three more hits should do it. Well, at that point, one more hit, but you know what I mean. Here we go. Purple enemy. This one's tricky. You gotta shoot the purple shot to open it up and make it rotate, then target its glowing red portions. That took me a while to figure out. Those things hit me the first time, and the second time. <laughs> hey look, you can actually affect the leaves with your uh, purple shot. Amazing. I think? Maybe I was wrong. Whatever. That was a long one, my goodness. But this enemy takes priority because it's dangerous. There. Oh yeah, I can shoot the lead. Look at that. Amazing. But back to the purple enemy, or the yellow enemy. Oop. Dangerous, dangerous, dangerous. Got him. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Now what? Oh. Segmented enemy again. Another segmented enemy. No big deal. Oh, those things are hard to hit. Oh. Perfect. I love these gates. Now for the long tunnel portion, much like the first level. Don't you love that delicate sound these enemies may make when they introduce themselves? I 
I love that. I love that sound too. Fantastic. Ooh, now for a tougher one. This guy's got more HP and it shoots shots at you. It reminds me a lot of that enemy that did the exact same thing and looked very similar in level 4 of Res. I love the little tiny fragments that the purple shots make when you take them out. Ooh, I was too quick for him that time. And now we're backtracking. Well, not backtracking, we're backpedaling. No big deal. Okay, boss time. And this is the greatest freaking boss ever. Why? Well, you'll find out very shortly. It might not look quite like anything yet. Give it a little bit more. You see it? Do you see it? We are looking at a giant lotus flower. And with this purple look, it reminds me of the black lotus from Magic the Gathering. This is one tricky little clunk too. It shoots its purple shots at you like crazy. Look at that, I can't even get a shot in edgewise. I love the way its petals kind of ripple when you uh, shoot the core. Next phase, please. Ooh. Now we're getting serious. Oh, wait, listen to this. That really heavy sounding sound is what happens when you shoot it when you shoot it when it's closed. And look at that ripple again, the flapping in the breeze. Even though that's the you're doing it wrong sound, it's still really awesome. Very sonorous. Oop, where that came from. And it's actually firing at me. And it almost hit me. No big deal, yet. Look at the lines it leaves behind when it moves. Look at that. It looks like... It, it, it looks straight up arc. Look at that. That ripple, it's like strokes of a paintbrush. How do you take this from concept and put it into motion? Look at the trail it leaves behind. It's too much. Whoa. Oh, it actually got me. That's alright. I got more HP where that came from. Man, this thing is on the move. Now full Black Lotus form. Hit the core. It keeps shooting at me, I keep hitting the core, everyone's a winner. Done. Look at the vibrant colors. Is this a profile picture or what? Hmm, can't manipulate anything else. That's okay. Let's open up this flower. Just like the second boss, no threat right now. Just finish the job and make it look good. Done. Look closely, she's actually singing the lyrics.
the shimmering touch of a gossamer wing catches the sunlight. I also have the snake. One thing I haven't mentioned, like I said, there are four things that each go up to level three, so to perfect a garden, you must beat a stage 12 times. Looks like I beat the crap out of evolution, huh? Now that's a level three background. Ooh. These petals I can manipulate. Oops, wrong button, sorry. Moving the cursor, moving the cursor. We have the giant butterflies, we have the squid. And there it is. Look at that. All to me. Well, we've beaten beauty, and I think it did live up to its name. So the next stage is passion. Well, we've beaten the third stage of Child of Eden. And was it beautiful? Yes, yes it was. It was gorgeous. And you know that I, of all people, am going to love the fact that there's a giant lotus in a stage called Beauty. That was fantastic. Fantastic. But the next stage is Passion. How do you think a game like this could portray something like that? Until next time, everyone.